Well, he's uh, giving me kind of full reign and a lot of different checks, a lot of different um, plays to get into. Uh, most of them, not all of them are within the scheme, and then the ones that aren't are just um, like frequent checks that I'll do for every given look um, in that situation. So he's allowed me to um, have a little bit of leeway and go in there and be confident, and um, he just trusts me, and um, we have a good connection. Good. We're on the same page of what he wants and, and what's good plays for, for our system. And the two passes to Buffy in particular, you guys go to the five-man protection on the third goal. I'm not sure how many five-man protection you have run in such situations in your last place. How much does that speak to this? Is that Kenny's aggression? Is that your comfortability? Is it both? Uh, yeah, it's kind of all the above. It's just good plays in that situation. Um, and at the end of the day, getting five out with no pressure is always good. Um, and we knew in those situations they play more coverage than, than pressure, and so um, we got in good situations, got in good plays, and got the ball out the bucket. What's the? How do you feel the twelve on balance? Like you guys going five on the side. How does that stress the defense? Uh, it's tough. They, uh, um, I mean, whenever you unbalance can present teams a lot of different situations. They either got to check, they run to it. Um, to where it's automatic check, or they just call out the call, and sometimes they're outnumbered to that um, spot. So unbalance is a good mix-up, especially in college football. A lot of teams do it. Um, defenses um, can struggle getting line to it. So this week, Colin Gamble's got all of his tackles for loss the last three games, primarily in the slot and that nickel spot. Is that a lot of nickel fire? Or is that just good recognition? How's, how's he getting all this? Good stuff? recognition. Uh, they got good players. They're very sound, um, so they play well within the scheme. Uh, at the same time, you kind of know what they're going to do, but they, they do it too as well. So um, they're not going to give up any explosive plays. They're very sound and know what they want to do on defense. And, um, they know what is um, kind of hurts their defense, so they know how to defend it. Uh, so they do a good job of it. Six wins in a row, two of those being top 15 opponents. Just, I don't think you guys have had slow starts on either side of the ball. How has this team managed just winning and not getting overconfident going into each one? It's just practice. Um, like today is a Tuesday. Um, we'll go back to work. Tough practice today. Um, physical practice. Um, going against each other. Uh, just some some hard work days. Like today is what's allowed us to start fast and kind of get into the game and um, be ready to roll. Be um, more aggressive, more physical than the other team. That's what we try to be. And um, so far, it's worked out for us. A lot of people. A lot of people view that as a long ball, the play of, obviously the play of the game, but the third and 12 pass to Bucky is really a momentum changer. How do you feel that play kind of shifted the momentum of the game? You guys, third and 12, they stopped you twice. How do you think that changes things? Kind of uh, well, if we don't go down and score, things change for our defense, put them in a bind, and so that was a huge play for us to go up by seven, and then we didn't really stop from there. Um, but that was a, a huge play in the game, obviously going backwards on first and second down, which is something we don't normally do. Um, but third and 12 was a huge um, momentum shift play for us. And, um, once again, it was just a generic play, get out, got a check down, and he ran for it. And so um, things like that is what's kind of keeping us afloat, keeping us ahead um, is between every, usually every three plays, we got a good explosive play that will give us the first down. Back to the freedom of pre snap is that a thing you've had experience with at other schools, or is this the most maybe? Yeah, this is by far the most. Um, in the past, I haven't really been able to check plays. Um, what's been called, we're running no matter what. Um, sometimes it shows, and uh, I think that now uh, with flexibility, we you can kind of see our offense. We're never really out schemed, out man. We always got a hat on a hat. And, um, our plays that we run, they're always positive, good plays. We we really one of our goals is just in the quarterback room, the OC with Coach Dillingham. We don't want to run any bad plays that, that can be um, like negative. Is that something you've had to earn from Coach Dillingham in terms of that? Well, from I mean, the way he talks, the way he coaches, every quarterback he's, he's had okay. has had that kind of um, system. Some I guess are better than others. Some he um, he catches on to they they learn it quicker than others. And I know Riley Ferguson in the past. He's, he's had some really good ones that have. Um, been in his system that they know, understand what, what he wants. And so that's all it is. It's, it's not me running whatever play I want. It's literally him saying, if we get this look, we want to run this. We get up to the line, we get this look, we run it. Sure enough, it's a great play because we scheme it up. Just how much confidence does that give you to, to have a coach who enables you with that much trust? I mean, huge. Um, it's just when, it, when a coach trusts you like that, 
then he knows and he trusts your preparation and then you have more confidence in yourself um, and in your preparation. Um, and then it's just, I'm ne I never really get out there and feel uncomfortable with the look because at the end of the day, I can always get myself into a, a good look that I know I'm comfortable with, I know what's going on, and at least I know what could be negative to where I can be watching out for it. So that's more than anything, just what it helps. It's just not, um, it's allowed me to be comfortable just back there and know that I know what's going on at all times. You've had more than a couple 40 or more yard passes most recently to Detroit. Just what are you looking for in the defense to feel confident to throw that far and just can you speak on also your playmakers out there to make those type of plays? Yeah, well, um, a lot of that is just safeties coming down in the run game because we're running the ball so well. Um, and then hitting them over the top. Troy ran a great route on Saturday. Um, we've been, I mean, a lot of our guys have been running some really good post routes. Um, and then again, it goes back to matchups, just getting, I mean, play action, get um, the guys' safeties in the run fit, get the outside linebackers in the run fit, and throw it over the top. And then they're, they're going and making plays and doing a great job. But at the same time, we've been throwing a lot of open posts. So if it's not open, we've been taking check downs. And so I think that the name of the game is when we continue to do that, um, just if it's there, hit it. If not, take a check down. We'll call it again and move on. But we don't really want to take those shots and incomplete them um, and then just be second and ten. How much of a mismatch is, is Troy just against general you know, yeah. defenses? I mean, he's really good. He's one of the top in the nation. I mean, he just continues to grow and gain experience. And a guy like that, the more he sees, the more he develops, the better he's going to be. Um, and Troy's starting to figure it out, starting to play really, really well. Um, he's done that for us all year. Um, whenever we need him, he's always there. Uh, we can scheme him up in ways, but he also finds ways to get himself open. How in sync is this offensive line? You guys still haven't given up the sack yet. Um, what, what, have you talked to Coach Clem at all about the protections and just how good they've been recently? Yeah, I mean, we have, um, we're in great sync from an O-line standpoint. Um, starts with Alex up front, and then from there, each one of the guys that go in, they're, I mean, they know what's going on. They know what's happening. They know the calls. Um, I give credit to them. We have protection meetings all the time. Um, we know and understand why we're doing things. We know the blitzes. Um, all the time we're talking about certain things, and we know why we want to get into certain looks. We know why we want to run certain run plays, get into certain pass checks. Um, and so just with all of us knowing, with all of us having that knowledge, we can expect more. So if we're checking something, we're not just checking it to check it. We kind of have awareness, okay, they're going to do this. We're ready for it. We block it have an explosive play, and that's all it is. How frequently are you practicing that end of the game circumstance like you use like a close call the air ball? Yeah, well, uh, we practice that every um, either Thursday or Friday. Um, normally we get into it, some situational stuff on Friday when we do our pre-game uh, pre script. Uh, we get into different situations throughout the season, and uh, we actually practice that one on Friday. Um, you never know when you need certain things like that. We talked about it a lot, so we, we were on the same page. Um, we practiced it several times. And, now we just get out there and execute it. Normally you want to run that with eight or nine seconds, but we got away with it 13. It's just kind of an abstract question, but mm -hmm. how, in your head are you counting down how long it's going to take for the ball to carry? Yeah, usually you got four to five seconds of air time, and so at the time we had 13, so I knew I had to run around for eight. I give credit to UCLA. They didn't try to be dirty, try to run around and take any unnecessary hit. Um, so we were able to block him up, run around for a while, and throw it out of the end zone. Um, and Chris actually caught it. He was just two yards out of bounds. <laughs> How different is your understanding of game like to today, both I, mean, I know you I mean, the son of a coach. Your game like is already pretty advanced at every stage. Mm -hmm. So my question is basically like with box counts and adjustments to these things. Were these things you were capable of three years ago, but not necessarily permitted to do them? Or is your understanding of that? No, I think so. I, my dad did a good job when I was in high school. You know, he used to. Um, give me a formation, call a run play, and then put the check at the end of it, and I get us into a run and a pass check. We'd move the ball on our defense all the time, and so um, I give credit to him doing that. He always taught me just hat counts, what run plays, leverages, um, routes against certain looks. And then the past few years have been more of a system of um, we want to run what's called, and so um, that's just, I mean, every some coaches are like that. They don't necessarily, um, they want to know where the ball is going, and I don't blame them. Because um, sometimes you can get a quarterback that can go crazy with it. So, um, with that being said, with Coach Dillingham, it's just meeting times and understanding. You know, at the beginning of the year, I didn't have as much leeway as I have the past two weeks. Um, so it's just building and building and just um, becoming more, more and more comfortable with what we're doing and seeing week after week what different looks we're getting. You probably knew that the, uh, the onside kick was coming at some point. Did you know it was coming at that point? Did Coach tell you? And what, what did you? What were your feelings going into that drive? Well, we, uh, going into the game, we kind of knew it was up. And then um, after a few scores, um, 
we kind of talked about we could do it here, we could do it here. Um, so I never really know um, when it's going to actually happen because, um, again, you don't want to get all the offense huddled up and stand it up and then you know something's coming. So, um, again, it goes back to our aggression. Coach Lang, and he's done a great job with that situational football. He's taught us a whole lot situational football. We have meetings about it all the time. And so I feel like we're playing at an um, extremely elite level um, when it comes to situations. All right, thanks, Thank you. I appreciate it.